lovelies. So today I am quite stressed. I This is like the waiting period before going to Florida, but it's jam-packed with tons of things. And one of the things is tomorrow I have an appointment at 8.15, which is like right a couple hours after I fall asleep. And if I wake up that early, I get super sick, which means I usually throw up. Um, and it's a doctor that I don't really like to go to. So it's a sucky situation. Um, but at least when it's over, then I'll just be really sick for the rest of the day. And that day is pretty much useless. Um, and then I guess Thanksgiving is Thursday or something. I don't know. And then Saturday, I have a dinner with my friends, which we were going to dress up for, but now I don't know when I can actually get something to dress up in. So, I don't know. Because tomorrow would have been a great day, but now it's not. Um... Oh, it's gonna be so miserable tomorrow. I just hate it. I don't want to. <laughs> this is what happens. Please come out. So that's what's going on in my life. Uh, I don't know. That's all I can think of. Like, I mean, there's like other things going on and like other things I'm thinking about, but that's all I can think about is that I've got a stupid appointment tomorrow. I get such anxiety around appointments and I don't even know why. Like, it's a 15 minute med check, but it does, the time does bother me. And I wouldn't have actually remembered it, but my mom brought it up because she wanted to know what time she needed to wake me up. Because my dad has to actually wake her up for it because we have to leave the house at freaking 7.30. I don't even know if I actually will fall asleep. That would be perfect if I was like up all night until the appointment and then just went to the appointment and then came home. I've just been feeling so miserable lately, too, ever since Friday. I just have, like, not felt good because I've just been flared and exhausted and it just takes me a while to recuperate. Kind of, like, looking forward to, like, 12 solid hours of, like, being forced to just lay in a car. But it's just so uncomfortable. Um, but everything's so stressful right now. It's like, what do I pack? And like, where do I pack it? And how much can I pack? And what doctors am I going to see? I need to pick up which prescriptions. And I need to pay, pay for prescriptions for these medications. And then, um, but for everybody else, it's like, oh, it's Thanksgiving and you can go shopping and do all these other fun things. And I'm like, not me, no. Putting my doctor's appointments early. And I forgot to get freaking blood work done. Ah, uh, I knew there was something else. Mm, maybe I'll be able to make my prescriptions just last. And then I won't have to see a doctor while I'm down there. I'll just have to see a psychiatrist. Maybe that's why I didn't get blood work. I can't remember. My insurance is giving me a hard time now because my psychiatrist has me trying out another antidepressant with my Lexapro, which is an antidepressant. And then my um, doctor doctor would like me to try some Balta for I think the third time now um, to help with my fibro pain. And so now they're saying, like, well, she, we're not covering three antidepressants. And it's like, what? How can you tell my doctors what you is right and wrong? 
I'm not taking a third antidepressant. I'm taking something that possibly could help with my pain. So I could possibly not take like tramadol or something like that that is now all of a sudden addictive. But for the past like 15 years it was peddled as like not being addictive and that's why it was so fantastic. Oh, so frustrating. I watched a really cool documentary on um, Bert Shavitz from he owns well, he was the creator and founder of Bert's Bees and I didn't actually know there was like an actual Bert like I thought it was just kind of like an image like a hippie type person and I didn't I didn't think there was actually like this person and he was really interesting and like unique and I thought he would be a bit like shove it down your throat to like be natural but it's just like what he likes he likes to just like live off the earth and like he doesn't even have hot water in his house and I think like when the movie was created his company was uh, estimated at like 200 or no wait what was it was it close to a billion dollars because I think his my girlfriend the person sold it for like almost close to 200 million dollars I don't remember the details but anyways he's a millionaire um but yeah I just thought that was pretty interesting and he was just a really unique person and he really likes he's really more into his dogs than he has people and so I really relate to that um and it was really sad. I cried during it. He talks about like one of his older, one of his old dogs, and I get just really emotional whenever he talks about that. Like, he said he still like has a hole in his heart that'll like never be filled, and I'm like, oh my god, my Bella. Um. And then, uh, like Netflix gives you, like people who watch this also watched, and they give you like examples of other movies and I was scrolling across and it was called Brony Tale and I've heard that talked about like bronies and I just figured it was like bro because like I've seen um PewDiePie's videos where he does like bro fist at the end and but then I it's like all these little my little pony things so I was like hmm, this looks like an interesting documentary so I found out what bronies are today and that maybe they're not as creepy at, as I thought they were. Still confusing though. But I cried during that one because there was a really touching part where a vet went up because they're just very like, they seem like very like sensitive souls and like I don't know they just all seem damaged I guess is like the word and that's why they I guess they look like a kids cartoon so much is because it's like always sunny and sunny and bright and they didn't really like discuss that part of it but that's what I think and gathered from it and it's this one guy who seems like so sweet and like so alone and it was just really cute so I don't know I'm supposed to take a shower tonight because I really need one but part of me wants to just not take one and then like hope that like my stink stays in my doctor's office for the rest of the day because he was mean to me last time I saw him so that's not very nice or hygienic mm, I'm just in one of those moods alright well I hope you guys have a pain free stress free day and hopefully I'll be relieved tomorrow Now, X doubles, and I realize I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.